So our second Hunter Chase and Race 3600 card is a Subaru Chase over three miles and a furlong. So Timo K. Shu for James Shea along with Jadawa Stefano. Finding Alice for Martin Needham. Hello Bud for Obi-Wan. Danzig Caramel for Thomas Rogers. Makes up five. Small field here. Starter's got him. We'll wait. Wait for him to settle down. Scores on the doors uh, for the Hunter Chases so far this season as we go over the first. Although we're all a little bit sticky over that. Hello, Bud just stepped over it. But it's a fairly sedate pace here. When we get to the second, they're all over it. So it is Jadawi Stefano that leads from Danzig Caramel and Tomoka Shoot. The Grey finding Alice and Hello, Bud. But plenty of racing to be had still. Swing right handed here. Approach the next. I'm just going back to the, the little, uh, James Shea's leading at the moment with the most. Oh, we've lost one there. Hello, bud. And there's me waffling about something else. Poor old LB1 source. Stepped over the first, threw himself into the third. He's out of the race. So it is Judali Stefano by about three and a half lengths to Danzig Caramel. And teammate Tomoka Shoot. Finding Alice the Great. So we've just got the four here. we still got two and a half miles to go. And we'll get over that one. And went th really through it was Finding Alice. To a small ditch. And then we'll get over that one as well. So we're still two and a half miles to travel. It's Jadali Stefano by about three and a half. Back to Danzig Caramel. Thomas Rogers. And the Tomoka shoot. And Finding Alice for Martin Leadham. So we're bookended by the James Shays horses. Jadami Stefano leading, and Tomoka Shu at the rear. James Shea is our leading Hunter Chase winner. He's got three so far. Thomas Rogers got a couple. Although also has a couple. Martin Needham's got one, so he'll be looking to double up his figures here. We go over the six, and we'll take it well. So I apologise in the last race, Paul. You've actually won a Hunter Chase previously. So we're in second place with two wins. Anyway, it's Jadawi Stefano for James Shea. By about three and a half to Danzig Caramel. Finding Alice on his outside. As we get to the seventh. And we'll get over it. They're all a little bit slow. And then you wouldn't be running around in a hunter's chase. If you were a good jumper, really. Drifted under a hundred. That allows you to enter these. Oh, there's a poor jump there by the leader. The lead's gone just down to two now. Get to this one, jumps that one better. It's just the rest, but they're already single file. And it's just always Stefano, leads them into the tent, the plain one. And they'll take that well. No pretty slow jumping, and certainly not much pace. So it's just always to start there. Stefano, still leading. Swing right handed. Two fences, two plain ones close up. Lead is over it. Oh, Finding Alice went straight through the top. Tomoka Shu had a little bit of a struggle. Didawa Stefano leads him into the 12th. The leaders are over it. And we'll take that one much better. So with a mile and a half still to go. It's Didawa Stefano from Danzig Caramel. Finding Alice and Tomoka Shu. It's as we were. So swing right handed. Come up to the winning line. This will be the last next time round, I think. Oh no, we've got two more times round. Oh, Stefano takes that one. Nice big high slow jump by finding Alice. But still, anything can win it from here. And there's the winning post. Surrounded by bushes. There's a little fence over there and a bit of dirt. So go over the 14th. And we'll get over that. Finding Alice grazed its hocks. Get over the 15th as well. So, further eight to take. I know, just over a mile to travel. It's Jadali Stefano that still leads us from Danzig Caramel. Finding Alice in Tomoka Shoot. There's a loose horse there. Hello, Bud, still going round. He's going to catch up with Addy's jockey. As they approach the next. Finally, inside the final mile. Darwin oh, Stefano got about a four length advantage now. It's the 16th. We jumps it on the Tomoka shoot, made a mistake. It's Darwin Stefano as they go uphill now. Danzig Caramel, 
And now it's been scrubbed along a little bit, as well as Tomokushu at the rear. Good army Stefano jockey keeps checking, making sure they're not too close. So we'll go to the 17th. Still six to take, and it's just Arby Stefano. Still by about five to Danzig Caramel, finding Alice and a little race on their own. Tomokushu is uh, probably out of this now. Unless something drastic happens. Get over the ditch. And it's still Jadawi Stefano. Jockey looks around again into the plain one. This leads still three lengths from Danzig Caramel. Finding Alice under a lot of pressure now. Whips out. Tomoka Shoe's not going to win from there, I don't think. As we swing down the back straight, it's Jadawi Stefano. To Danzig Caramel. They're shortening the lead a little bit now. It's Jadawi Stefano's getting a little bit tied up front. So here comes Danzig Caramel as they get to the 22nd, which is the penultimate. And it's Danzig Caramel that jumps himself into the lead. So Danzig Caramel on the outside of Jaro Stefano up against the fence. Doesn't look like he's got a lot left. Finding Alice is just treading water now. But it's Danzig Caramel starting to pull away from Tom Rogers. They swing right handed. Just one to jump and a furlong to run. It's Danzig Caramel pulling away now from just a long time lead with Jadawi Stefano. Gets over the line as does the rest. It's going to be a win for Danzig Caramel. Times he's run well. So Thomas Rogers moves up to three hunter chase wins. Joins James Shea at the top of the leaderboard who came in second with Jadawa Stefano. Third was finding Alice for Martin Adam and fourth was Tomoka Shoe for James Shea as well. Let's move on to race 37.